So let's go through uh, some of the economic highlights that have come through. And, uh, you know, chief amongst them seems to be this decelerating trend we're seeing on the inflation front. It's coming as a surprise to many out there. Run us through uh, what's playing out in your perspective on what we're seeing. Yes, definitely. Inflation has uh, come down over the recent months. And uh, in September, we still expect uh, annual inflation to come down. Uh, this is largely because of um, even on a month on month it may it will be it will rise, but on a year on year it will come down. I think major factors that have contributed to lower inflation have been liquidity challenges, which have necessitated uh, weak demand uh, for basic goods, as well as um, uh, deflated inflation expectations that are normally uh, are no normally accompanied by you know civil servant salary increases. In the absence of that. We, we haven't seen any inflation expectations coming through uh, in the market. So when we look at the remainder of the year, we, uh, we see inflation maybe still contained below 4.5%. Uh, having said that, you know, that we've got factors coming to bear and bringing these price pressures down, you've also got to take into co uh, consideration the kind of press, uh, price pressures that are being imposed. I mean, you've got high domestic fuel prices coming through. You've got a festive season uh, demand pressures that are likely to filter through as we progress towards the end of the year. And then that rising food import bill to some, uh, supplement domestic shortfalls. So how are you, uh, you know, factoring in the kind of price pressures pressures we could see being imposed moving forward? Yes, uh, I, we see all those factors coming into play for the remainder of the year. Uh, so our general expectations will be an uptick in inflation. When you look at in, in particular the month-on-month -month inflation, it should begin to rise, but uh, there will be sort of a commensurate rise in annual inflation, although it may not surpass the 4.5% mark by year end. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to positive development centered around the economy, there seems to be uh, quite a few sectors that are be, uh, have been performing well, tobacco, cotton, uh, and mining uh, amongst them. Yes, definitely. Uh, we have seen uh, tobacco exceeding expectations. The uh, government had lowered down uh, its uh, projections earlier on to, for, for tobacco this year in terms of production for, to 134. But uh, in terms of uh, the new numbers, about 144 million kgs seem to have been uh, you know, produced this year. The same applies to cotton. Expectations were that maybe 255 million kgs of cotton will be produced this year. And yet, when you look at the revised numbers, somewhere in the order of 350, which is quite positive. Mining sector as well has shown positive trends with respect to gold benefiting from the international uh, firm uh, gold prices.